Good afternoon, PW Blanks and Sublimation members. This is Dawn, and it's our Tutorial Tuesday. And I'm excited to do the glass cans and the glass tumblers. So we have our clear glass tumblers, 24 ounce, with the bamboo lid, and comes with a straw. And I just have a white sheet in there so you can see what it looks like with the design. And then we also have the frosted. Same thing, but just frosted glass. And these sub really well. And then we have the little uh, 16 ounce glass cans. And they have the frosted. And then we also have the clear. So I've been playing around with time and temp. Um, I've done kind of each one a little differently just to see. So this is one, um, this is another frosted one. Look how pretty that turned out. And then let me put, so I just created, I just cut out some white cardboard to put in so you can see the design. So this one turned a little brown, so I think I got this one over done just a little bit but because cows are brown and black I don't think it looks bad so I've got a <clears throat> full wrap for the clear and then I've got a full wrap for the frosted and the glass and don't break it so what I know does work on one sided is um, 368 370 for 40 seconds that's what I use for the ombre tumblers it's what I used for the one-sided what I've been trying to figure out is for the two-sided to make sure that they're not getting too dug so um, I'm going to try 358 360 40 seconds each side so we'll start with this one and I'm just gonna put it right in the middle I'm gonna put my seam this way and we're gonna go just light pressure and it is going to drop because it's glass just like ceramic with ceramic mugs it's going to drop um, so like I said we're gonna try 358 360 for 40 seconds and see how that does so we're trying that one together and I've already dropped down to 325 so it's gonna drop and then it's gonna come back up to our um, temperature so don't be worried if it does drop. So I'm gonna come back once it's time to flip and we'll see how it does. All right, we're going off. So now I'm just gonna flip my seam over to this side. Put it in the middle. And then we're gonna wait till it gets down to 358 and then I'm gonna close it. back at my resting temp of 358 it'll drop down some again and um, just because I've had it open and then we'll let it get back up to 360 go for 40 seconds and see how it does all right we're about to go off so let's see how it came out you can look inside I can tell look on your outside can you see your design You can tell it's done a little there and not quite as done there. So let's take a look. And that actually worked perfect. That was perfect. There's another glue. Blacks look good. Blacks look really good on that one. Okay, so that's on our frosted. 
So now we're going to do a butterfly one, but without the black. And we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna, since, since we've got um, a full wrap, we're gonna just stay with the same thing. 358, three sec, 358, 360, 40 seconds each side. And let's see how it does on the clear. It should do the same, so we'll see. And I'll be back. All right, about to go off. Turn it. Just get my seam this way. And then I'm going to let it go back down to 358 because if I close it right now, it's going to start counting. Okay. So once it gets to the resting temp, I'll just close it because if you close it while it's still above resting temp um, at 360, it would start counting down. So we're going to do 358, 360, 40 seconds on this side. We're going off. Let's see how that came out. Oh, be careful. I keep trying to break these, I guess. And that looks really good. So I'll put the white in it once it cools down so we can really see what it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell with the clear. All right, so now we're going to do our tall 20 uh, four ounce one. And this is the clear one. Let me check my pressure. So I definitely need to tighten my press. turns doing each side because you don't want to do one too too much and then I just make sure they're even Count my head to ten when I'm doing it. So Maybe three more turns. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just make sure they're even. Okay, now we're gonna use the same thing. So I'm just gonna stick with the 358, 360, 358, 360, 40 seconds twice. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Careful, you should use your heat gloves when you press this up. All right, then we're gonna come back and see how that turns out. So while that's counting down, I just put the white paper in there so you could see. Okay. Look how pretty this colors. So, so for our two-sided, we're doing 358, 360, 40 seconds two times. So I'm doing the seam on this side, seam on this side, and we're done. For one-sided designs, so just, oh, well, this one's two. Um, so for just one side of here, all I did for that was 368, 370 for 40 seconds. Um, so just a little different. Um, be careful you don't break your stuff. So I'll be back once this is ready to flip. All right, we are about to go off. I'm excited. Okay. So then we're just going to flip it to this side. I think I was getting all excited, but we haven't done the second side yet. Huh. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to let it go down. It says at 361 right now, so one degrees above. So right now, if I closed it, it would start counting down. But like I said, because it's glass, it would keep dropping, dropping, and then the timer would stop. So it would start, but then it would stop. So I'm going to let it get down to 358 before I close it. <clears throat> Once it reaches 358, I'll close it 
and then it can begin again. So we're going to go 40 seconds this side, and I'll be back. We're about to go off. Let's see how this looks. Let me check my end. So I put it right before the little lip. So I'm hoping that that helped. Not having it right on that lip. Which that looks good. And that looks good. And then I brought it down to about right here, right before it's going to curve. And that may have been a little long. It's actually just something bad. And these get hot, I'm telling you. That's great. I think it looks good. That looks really good. All right, I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm gonna put the paper in it so you can see it um, a lot better, and then I'll be back. But that paint came out great. So for two-sided, I'm using 358 resting 360 printing, 40 um, each side, just rotating twice. Seam here, seam here. For one-sided, I'm just doing uh, 368, 370, 40 seconds. And that's what I use um, on all glass, um, one-sided. So I haven't done, you know, the two-sided glass um, until now. So I think that that's really going to work. So we'll be back to take a look at it all once it cools down. Okay, so let's just take a look at all of our cups. So we have our 24-ounce frosted. This is just one-sided. our bamboo lid and this is our clear and this was kind of two-sided because I did the little design down at the bottom and all these designs I got off Etsy and um, this is the one that we just did so I put the white paper in it look how good that came out so I put it right under that lip and just right at the bottom and that is gorgeous that looks great. This is our frosted. So this was the first one that I did. So like I said, I've been playing with these a little bit. <clears throat> and this one came out really great on the frosted, the colors. Oh, these aren't hot, so I don't know why I'm holding my glove. <laughs> And then we have our clear. And this one, I got just a little done. But I think with the cow, it's okay. And this is the same with the butterflies, but with little black stripes. So, just to recap, once again, one-sided, frosted, or clear glasses, glass, I'm doing 368, 370 for 40 seconds. If I'm doing two-sided, I'm going to do 358, 360 at 40 seconds each time, two times. So I hope that helps you all. Um, go out and grab you some of these. They're awesome.